Yeah. Now, you had mentioned cutting up when the camera's off. Any funny moments? Any moments you were just like, oh my gosh, I'm just living my dream. I'm living the moment. And there's too many to count. Um, it, it's really, I still keep in touch with these guys. We have a, we do have a group chat now. And here we are, you know, a year and a half, almost two years later. And we're still saying happy birthday when it's someone's birthday or something. But, oh, good memory, man. I remember probably one of the coolest moments I remember is, um, you know, it, it was mixed ages. So you had some guys that were over 21 and some guys that weren't. So we didn't have to go to a bar to have fun or, or, or go, you know, someplace. And so everyone was so inclusive. I got memories of us going to Applebee's <laughs> just, <laughs> and, you know, pretending it's somebody's birthday. So we get a cake and stuff like that. I mean, just your things that a group of friends would do. But we um, the there were th there were. Um, I believe three guys that were SAG and that's Screen Actors Guild. So they were part of that, of, of the Screen Actors Guild. And so they, they were the ones that had kind of, I guess, the most credit to their name. And that's uh, Jake Austin Walker, Jacob Laughlin and Levi Dillon. Those three guys were, um, they stepped up and were really leaders to the rest of us because the rest of us were just a bunch of Texas boys that really hadn't done much. And, um, I remember them saying, hey, you know, tomorrow's our first day on set. Why don't we get together in somebody's room and let's just read through the script and let's just read through it so we're prepared. And we all were like, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So we walk in the room and um, and we just sat around for two, three hours reading this script at our own pace, really just breaking down every scene, laughing about stuff, you know, and um, and just little jokes and you know it's so hard to pick one moment but those are just some memories that stick out in my head you know those applebee's runs those 2 a.m getting off set let's go to ihop you get a stack of pancakes you know and so um we yeah we had a great time that's awesome i that's funny you mentioned applebee's when i used to work at uh disney world out in florida every shift every time we got off of a shift we'd go to applebee's and so it's been it's a good thing. man and i like to my friends yeah i said yo applebee's is fun they have a dj now you can dj yourself and you can just have your own music and just like you said cut up what um um you mentioned you know being a texas boy film it, the movie is filmed in texas what was that all like i mean you know you kind of have a small head start with the culture out in texas um so what was it like trying to you know maybe add that into your character or kind of you know educate some people who may not have been to texas right um well first things first is they wanted me to have a of a 30s Fort Worth, Texas draw. So up there. Um, so I guess I, people say I have a small one, I guess. I don't really hear it, but <laughs> of course, but what, as my character, I'm talking like this the whole time. And I'm talking, you know, I had to be like this and, and I have that draw. <clears throat> so that was the first thing as far as adding that to my character. But second thing is, um, that was something that the director Ty and and, and Lane, the or one of our head producers, and Houston and all these guys, what they wanted was authentic authenticity, and so they did these open casting calls around high schools up in this up in this area, and it, and the original intent I think was to get football extras to come be like the opposing teams, you know, and so they would like hold these open cast calls for these people. And of course they had, you know, auditions for these main roles and come to find out, you know, it was a nationwide casting. Like there were 2000 some odd guys going out for these 12 roles. And so when I found that out, you know, that was really humbling for me, but um, as, as well as just, they didn't want a bunch of LA boys that didn't know what it was like. As, if, if you could say that um, they just wanted real Texas boys. So a lot of these guys were not even actors. They were just fun dudes um, that were just these characters already and that they brought in. And now, you know, they've got agents now and are pursuing a career in it because they, you know, fell in love with it. Um, first kid that comes into my head is, is Woodrow Luttrell. And anybody you interview about this film is probably going to bring this dude up. 
He's one of the 12. He plays uh, Leon Pickett. I mean, as country as you can get. I mean, I tell you what, he wore overalls to set every day. The dude works on a fishing boat in Alaska every summer. He's in Alaska right now. He talks like this, just like this. And I mean, he is the best, most genuine. We've I've seen him multiple times since the film, just going to hang out because you can never get enough of Woodrow. But um, just boys like that, just, you know, just real genuine guys. And then we had, um, so everybody was from Texas except for Sampley, who was from Alabama, Jacob, who was from Arkansas. But even then, that's still pretty country, you know. But then you've got Levi and Jake. Now, Levi's from New York and Jake's from L.A. Oh. So they, I think they had been to Texas before, but they had gone to like Austin, which is not really country, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, of course, we made them try Whataburger for the first time. <laughs> And they were like, this is a grease pile. And we were like, yeah, that's the point. And I think they got like sick afterwards. Because in LA, it's a lot of like organic stuff and they keep it real green. And Mm -hmm. down here, fry it, man, fry it. it. (laughs) Um, Yeah, we just took them around. We went, because we were in Fort Worth, uh, we went to the stockyards um, and they're like, Billy Bob's is around there. It's like a it's not really a dance hall it's kind of just like a like a concert hall if, if you will have you ever been to billy bob's it's- i have not i've been to i've been to dallas but okay it was like just downtown and that was it yeah so the stockyards um i might be butchering this but the stockyards is where they will do the cattle trail like where the cattle trail used to be in, in old texas and they'll actually, you know, put cattle through. And there's a rodeo pin that the, the, they hold rodeos at. And then a bunch of country stars have, like George Strait and stuff, have performed at, at Billy Bob's. It's like a concert hall. And so we'd go there. I remember we went and um, once again, like, you know, we're not all having to go get a drink or something to have a good time. And, and nobody was forcing anybody to do anything. It was like, hey, whatever y'all want to do, let's something we can all do. You know what I'm saying? And so we'd go to the, the pool hall and just play pool, you know, and, and just had a good time. And, uh, and so, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. 